I just spent the last two hours walking around trying to gather the courage to talk to somebody. I did say hello to some people, I did say hi, but the thing is is that not a single person acknowledged back. It's It bugs me a little bit because I feel like we are so disconnected. You used to be able to say hi to people on the street. If there's one thing I'm really good at, it's turning my frustrations into action, and that's what led me to this week's idea for the Humanity Collective. I believe we live in a world that's more disconnected than it's ever been before. So every week, my mission is to find a creative way to bring people together or connect to the world. This is my project, to create humanity. The Humanity Collective. This week's idea is to go to downtown Calgary and ask people what their story is. It'll help me get over my fear of rejection and to help connect us a bit better. While walking through Eau Claire in Calgary, one couple really caught my eye. So, I approached them. Off, I guess, what are your guys' names? Yeah, my name is Saad, I'm from India. Cool, yeah. awesome. And what is your name? Juliana. Cool. So what I want to know, what the goal of this project is, is to find out if there's a story that you've always wanted to tell or always wanted to share. Oh, that's a difficult one. <sighs> it is. Go for the hard-hitting questions right off the hop. See, maybe like you can't think of any. I have too many. I can't even rank stories. them. Yeah. Okay. Well, the way we met was definitely like very special. Well, like I, neither of us really expected anything, but then like I liked the feeling just grew. You guys, how did you guys meet here? You say it's an interesting story. So was it just like through strip friends? club? Strip. He was a stripper, and I was sitting in the front row. <laughs> I got like top dollar tickets to see him stripping. That's going on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> hey, no one's so gonna believe be that. I don't look like the. <laughs> no one's gonna believe that. No, yeah. I don't look like a stripper. <laughs> you really have to work out. You really I'm have so to sorry. look I'm like so really sorry. jacked. I'm so sorry. <laughs> If there's one thing I learned from this young couple, it was that every little thing can be fun. It's all about interpretation. Well, that way. I'm, I'm waiting yet for like a movie script, and like a rom romantic comedy that's like the girl goes, like is the strip club patron, and then like the guy is stripping. Like, you right? know, they flip yeah, the role. Yeah. Yeah. You don't hear that often. Just give me 15 minutes, right? <laughs> 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 it just gets to working out, I guess. There you go. And then you'll start yeah. the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. We just played Pleasure. badminton, and then like, we started talking. Yeah, on the first date, we played badminton. Yeah. That was it. She was teaching me how to play badminton. Yeah. 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 But I was, oh, uh, yeah, I did beat Oh, he's like a very quick learner. Nice. Yeah. I was not with badminton. It took me forever and I'm still bad at it, but uh, yeah. I moved to Calgary just one year back, so yeah. I was basically uh, just looking for career opportunities. So I came up as an immigrant last year. So for the past one year, I've been just so up. I don't have a family over here. I have my fa my family back in India. Very cool. Yeah, so I'm just here all by myself. Yeah, well, so like, not now. And you said you've been here for a little bit longer. Yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, it's What's a revelation because um, you don't consider me as family, which is fine. Uh, <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> yeah. I lived in Toronto before. It's just like everywhere is frustrating. Like you want to go to like a park, go for a hike, it takes an hour to get there. By the time you get there, you're already tired. It's like right there now. Super easy That's to go places. There's not like you have to sort it out. Oh, people are business. so impatient. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel with this project what I'm trying to do is everybody's kind of become disconnected from each other We just walk through a park and we don't acknowledge absolutely, people absolutely. So just trying to get to know people not and just hear me. stories and stuff like that no, 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 While not, we were walking and I said the lady over there in the hat those people will be awesome to stop and chat Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> cool. Although I was nervous with them being the first to be interviewed for this project They were an awesome couple people to be talking to and they definitely made the project worthwhile If there's one thing this taught me, it's that really we're not as disconnected as I thought we were. It's just that my fear of rejection kept getting in the way. This couple taught me that by being really open to conversation. And that I really appreciate. And that, that I'm thankful for. And until next time, 
that's the Humanity Collective.